Welcome to InThisCornerTV.com, brought to you by Tecate Cerveza Con Caracter. On May the 7th at the MGM Grand in Las Vegas and available on Showtime pay-per-view, Manny Pacquiao continues his brilliant, legendary, and historic boxing streak when he takes on arguably the best fighter he's ever faced in future Hall of Famer and former three-weight division champion, Sugar Shane Mosley. Pacquiao's pugilistic resume has already become the stuff of legends. He's 52-3-2 with 38 knockouts, He has won a record eight world titles in his many weight divisions. He is on a boxing express train, the likes of which we may never see again. Manny has not lost in over six years and has certainly been the fighter of the past decade with wins over future Hall of Famers Oscar De La Hoya, Marco Antonio Barrera, Eric Morales, Juan Manuel Marquez, Ricky Hatton, Miguel Cotto. Most recently, he dominated bigger guys like Joshua Clotty and Antonio Margarito. In Sugar Shane Mosley, Pacquiao faces an 18-year veteran who has reigned as a world champion four times in three weight divisions. Mosley's stellar career already has him cemented as a Hall of Famer, and his resume boasts wins over the likes of John John Molina, Jesse James Leja, Philip Holliday, Luis Colazzo, Fernando Vargas twice, and Oscar De La Hoya twice, both in championship fights. And most recently, Mosley looked like a young gunslinger as he surprised all the boxing critics in annihilating Antonio Margarito and becoming the only guy to stop him. Pacquiao beat Margarito in his most recent fight, but failed to stop him as the fight went the distance. That ninth round stoppage of Antonio Margarito was Shane's last victory. And therein lies the problem. It was way back in 2009. Since then, Shane's only had two fights a lopsided 12-round decision loss to Floyd Mayweather, and a very disappointing draw against Sergio Mora last year. Mosley is rapidly approaching 40 years of age and has only fought four times in over four years, winning two, losing two, and a draw. Most every boxing expert feels Manny will have way too much for Shane to win. Despite all of the naysayers, Shane has wanted this fight for a long time and has been calling Manny out for years. He feels he has just the right boxing style to not only be competitive, but to actually beat Manny Pacquiao. Um, I definitely could be competitive. I could win the fight. You know, I'm a lot bigger man, and uh, you know, I have good speed, faster than any of the other guys that Manny fought. And uh, you know, we all know that when I hit something real clean, that uh, I can knock him out. So I mean, there's there's a lot of danger in that fight, and uh, I'm for both sides. And uh, and I'm just excited to be in it stylistically you and i know styles make fights yes. this one matches up i think better for you yes. than mayweather because uh pac-man comes to fight you come to fight he'll be right there yeah. so i think you have a better opportunity is that how you see it i definitely see it that way you know being that i'm a little taller a little ranger uh, i have opportunities to hit uh, many pacquiao um you know the same way like he has opportunities to hit me too as well but uh you know my punches are kind of heavy and maybe I, I can get the right shot in to, to end the day if in fact mosley can summon up some of his great stuff and put a hold on father time, this could be a fun fight. Mosley is a naturally bigger man and is still much faster than Pac-Man's recent opposition. Mosley can still punch, as he did manage to stagger Mayweather in the second round of their fight, and Mosley has been in there over and over with the best of the best and knows how to win these big fights. Will that tremendous experience be enough to derail Manny Pacquiao? The only thing that could slow down this Manny Pacquiao express train is Manny himself. The the outside-the-ring distractions. Manny seems to be at his best when multitasking. He knows how to be a congressman, actor, singer, but most importantly, he never forgets he's a fighter first. At least he hasn't forgotten that the past six years and 13 fights and multiple world titles. I don't see Manny slipping on May the 7th against Shane Mosley. Mosley will be competitive. He always is. But I think at age 39, he's just going to be a little bit too slow. He'll be outgunned and outfisted by the Pac-Man, Manny Pacquiao. Pacquiao by a 12-round decision, or 
It wouldn't surprise me if we see a first, the first time in the career of Shane Mosley that he doesn't reach the final bell. A late round stoppage wouldn't surprise me either. <laughs>